drink. It's time to go. It's time to go. It's time to go to the after show. Oh, you swung it this time. Yeah. All right. I added snaps. Yes. And on top of that, you swung it. Before it was like, time to go, time to go, time to go to the after show. Now you're like, yeah. Time to go. Time to go. Time to go. Time to go to the after show. Yeah. 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 But like an 80s theme song. Bravo. Keep it cool, (laughs) boy. Yeah. (laughs) Well, enough musical numbers. How's it going, everyone? Welcome to the after show where we discuss things that happened on the stream of Curse of Strahd session 24 this time around. A return to form. Is 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 uh, the way that uh, that I like to think about it. Because as you are aware, Nola, we have been uploading the Curse of Strahd videos on our YouTube channel and editing them. So I've gotten a chance to just rewatch some of our old streams and and see what yeah. we were doing and see how we were playing and all and all the stuff. And watching those old streams made me nostalgic. Like the because because we have just changed Aww. just so much as. Uh, as just players of this game, like in this campaign has shifted so much that I just mm-hmm. thought, you know, let's go back to the way it was like, and, and this is just such a fitting place to do it. Like the place where right. you passed by and almost got eaten by wolves and then now you're here. Let's integrate things and move at the pace that this campaign used to move at and not move at like a trillion miles an hour and actually have like RP out all of these small little moments. And I, had a ton of fun doing that. I I mean, this was a good session. This, this, I mean, it had a little bit of everything, you yeah. know, I had a little bit of exploration, had, uh, had, a, had a bit of combat, but it wasn't like an overwhelming amount of combat. And it had some nice RP moments, mm-hmm. which we will talk about later. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I wanted to talk about one of those moments now, which was like, you know, the, 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 the whole starting. The most important one where we decided instead of negotiating with, with the hacks, we decided to destroy them all. I, I was thinking uh, of actually the RP moment with your greater restoration. Ah. I really liked the way that we did that. Cause also like simultaneously we realized, oh, we forgot to address this. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah right. Yeah, here we and, are. And, uh. and the thing is, like last week, I I knew I wanted to do it, but I didn't remember in the beginning. I know, like you said, I'm like, okay, is there anything in Valaki you want to do? And I was like, I can't think of anything. And then later, I'm like, oh shoot, no, that was the thing. I the frick. And I, and then I remembered it, so I had to throw that. In. <laughs> Yeah, and I mean, the way that you described it before the session started with like, yeah, I'm getting rid of later re- lesser restoration, but that's because I'm upgrading it to greater restoration. Yeah. I just think it, I'm, mm-hmm. st- it makes total sense. I thought it led to like a really immersive, g- good world building moment where mm-hmm. Serena felt like a bard, you know, kind of thing where yeah, yeah she was just up- upgrading her magical songs. And I really like that. I mean, so I've I've talked about it a little bit, and it's been mentioned a few times, you know, throughout the campaign, like once at the Amber Temple, once at the Tower. But the way that I view bards learning spells is they learn the spell, and what I mean, if it's like a cantrip, then sometimes they can just cast it from themselves. So they don't have to like play anything in particular. But for like level, you know, one and up spells, they have to do something, and it's different than like a wizard casting a spell or like a sorcerer casting a spell. For Serena in particular, because she's not just a bard, she's a violinist. I I do have some basic knowledge of being a violinist because I grew up playing the violin. I can't play the violin anymore, but I know how it works. So, <laughs> um, and so... I decided that their ma- her magic in particular, because she's an instrumentalist, stems from her playing the correct sequence of notes at the correct timing, at the correct speed, the way that it's written in paper. And she enchants like the, the song to respond the way that she wants to when she plays the sequence of notes. And that manifests in the spell. That's why I wrote it, because I'm like, I. I I decided to get rid of Lesser Restoration because I never used it, like, ever. Um, and I decided to pick up Greater Restoration. And I'm like, ah, so thematically that that makes it perfect because then she could just take her old Lesser Restoration spell and rewrite the song so that it's even more powerful than it was before. Yeah. And that, that manifested in Greater Restoration. Yeah, and I thought that was a wonderful moment. Like, I, I appreciated it. I've been listening to uh, to The Name of the Wind recently. 
and it's it's mm-hmm. got it's gotten me to really appreciate how far like good description and world building can go uh with just being just more like being in the moment with the stories and in, in our case games so taking a minute to just really delve into like the magic system a little bit there i had a ton of fun exploring that with you that was definitely a highlight for me mm-hmm. and then of course we talked about it i think we might have even talked about it on the last after show but i know we talked about it at some point of the possibility of you going back to the windmill and checking out what was there and and seeing what was happening. And you did. And it led to some pretty cool things and some pretty frustrating things. (laughs) (laughs) The Congo line up the stairs, holy cow. Yeah, Uh, small spaces really suck. Yeah, I know. I, I can't cast fireball. Yeah. I can't cast shatter. I can't cast anything. Yeah, imagine what the melee people were <laughs> feeling like that, like rolled low in initiative order. They just sat there. They couldn't do anything. I know. Poor Zuleika is in the back line. Yeah. You know. Yep. She's just like, let me at him. Let me at him. Let me at him. And then she, know. she gave them their just desserts. That was that was fun. Uh, the, the, the 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 string of counter spells. Uh, the, the, the counter, the, the, the Congo, <laughs> the, line. the counter spell. Oh my gosh, the counter spell chain was yeah. so funny. Mm-hmm. <laughs> counter spell, no you counter spell, no you counter spell. Yeah, and it's, then oh my polymorph. Gosh. <laughs> I just spell your polymorph. It was just like no, yeah. like this was the battle yeah. of the spellcasters, and oh my it was gosh. clear who was stronger. Like it was no fun. contest. <laughs> yeah, that that was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah it was it was it was clearly pretty one-sided like you know like it nothing it, it was pretty it was close uh with 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 uh, irena and with irena were, yeah yeah, were, yeah. i definitely tr- had to be yeah, careful yeah but still mathematically speaking you still absolutely crushed them and you were tactically very very responsible holding on to your counter spells and you're looking through your spell magics and all of that yeah yeah and then i got to use my special new blow up effects tool which is cool like it, yeah. it, 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 it added just a tiny bit of oomph to the fight, seeing the explosions and the bolts, and then I had I had some fun with that. So I'm, yeah, I, yeah, I, it's it doesn't matter too much, but I had fun with it. It didn't seem clunky. Like the, this had a very good fluidity to it, and also just led to some like really cool character moments because we moved pretty slowly and we allowed for these RP moments to to really evolve and advance and naturally progress. I loved the pace that we moved at today, tonight. Yeah, I agree. I think the pacing today was really good. And uh, yeah, I mean, we, we mentioned that I noticed that you, you you tend to DM in a very like, okay, this is, this is exploring time. This is combat time. This is RP time. And you just like chunk it in like two or three hour chunks or one hour chunks and that type of thing. Whereas, yeah, th- this didn't have that as much. And I, I, I'm sure... Honestly, most DMs think think like that, where it's just like this is this time, uh, this is this time, this is this time. So, yeah, the blend was really nice, and I never felt bored or like, oh, I'm over this, mm-hmm. you know. Yeah. Um, whereas, <laughs> talking about Omiri, shout out to the Omiri campaign. Uh, last uh, last episode, we were fighting, and it was literally a three. Or like three hour fight it was just three hours of straight combat mm. <laughs> so and i was so done after like two hours so this this was this was a really really good session it had all the good stuff and uh yeah and serena got to yeah like serena you got to be nostalgic and also that the way that you framed the just the joke of just going up with the tarts like Ah, oh, these are so great. Just like really making everyone wonder, like, is she going to eat it? Is she going to eat them? Is she going to eat them? And, like, and then she takes them out of the oven, smiles, and then throws them out the door. <laughs> throws uh, them out the window. Uh, freaking <laughs> chef's kiss. That was hilarious. <laughs> and in the interior of the oven, you see a dozen pastries that smell absolutely divine, like freshly baked Hearts, and it actually mm. reminds you of home. You were instantly brought back to your grandmother's orphanage. Mm. And as you intake the sweet, sweet smell of the pastries cooking, they look like they're just right, and if you leave them in any longer, they're gonna burn. 
you know what? If there's like a there's like a pan holder or yep. a mitt or something, yep. I'll take them out of the oven. Okay. You take them out of the oven. <sighs> All dozen of them. And there are just a dozen piping hot, fresh pastries. Mm. They smell wonderful. And then she's going to go outside and throw them on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm just imagining it like cinematically. Yeah. And that's just exactly what I, how I imagined it. Yeah. It's just like, ah, they smell amazing. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> it was freaking funny. I... I'm so glad that I thought of like, wait a minute, these are, there's a bunch of regular baking ingredients. And if you can bake these pastries in there, we can probably make other pastries. Mm -hmm. And then that kind of brings back the flashback uh, of several episodes ago. Yeah, yeah, where it comes Serena, full circle. Uh, yeah, it comes full circle I, I, where I, I, she was able to yep. make her good berry tarts for all of her friends. Yep. And then... No coincidence with because because in the moment I thought of that too, which was what led to pro the very sp spicy meatball moment of the campaign. It's like, all right, the parallels are so strong right now. She's with her friends, her family. Ismark is there, and the way that the dream ended was that she had to choose, and this time she doesn't. And like there was mm -hmm. there, the parallels. She can have all of it. Yeah, yeah. The parallels yeah. were there, and I was like, okay, Ugh. we. I gotta get, I, I, I'm gonna give it's Nola, gonna happen, yeah. yeah, I'm gonna give Nola a line and I really hope that she holds on to it and you did and it led to such a great moment again, just thinking about this, like, <sighs> of course we don't plan any of this, but just thinking about oh, like, yeah, no, what no, if no. this was a book, like, it's like, bam, that would be so good, like, I ah. know, it's like the writing just writes itself, yeah, it's you know, in our campaign, yeah, yeah. and oh, okay, so honestly, uh, I wasn't expecting, uh, that the two of them, uh, you would, can say it. You know, spoiler alert, if you haven't watched the stream, the if you haven't watched show. the stream, what are you doing? Yeah. Okay. Um, so they spent the night together. They had sex, and... Nola. That's what they did. Okay, <laughs> fine. But... <laughs> I'm trying to say, I'm, try I'm trying to put it a little delicately, okay? Um, but anyway. <laughs> um, so they... They did that, and I wasn't expecting. I wasn't expecting that to happen, like this episode. Um, I mean, I wondered if it would happen at all. Actually, uh, whether it would happen this episode or maybe it would happen some point at like Castle Ravenloft. But of course, you know, in order for that something like that to happen at Castle Ravenloft, that just kind of okay. If they were to do that, something like that, Castle Ravenloft, it would just be the beginning of like every single horror film where the two kids that run off to have sex die. Yep, yep, yep. So, uh, yep, and seeing exactly. that this is Barovia, it's not a good sign. <laughs> okay. Yeah. It's not a good idea. Sp spooky <laughs> vampire in the castle is Mark. Hold me closer. Quick, yeah, let's go to this closet. Take me. <laughs> <laughs> and then they get stabbed in the back. Yeah, and then the closet is opened and a spear skewers them. And then the camera shifts. And the yeah. virgin survives. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Which I guess would be Irina at this point. Yeah. <laughs> that's a weird thing to think about. Yeah, that my is My little weird. Serena. Oh my goodness, she's all grown up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's a great moment very very sweet i actually was like literally from the from the moment that ismark said bring your bedroll i was like oh yeah oh really <laughs> i wonder why <laughs> It's what I mean. I, I, that was part of the thing that made that moment so cool because it's like one of those things, like you know, a, adult conversation. Children cover your ears, but it's like, it's like children totally a thing that that adults do. It's like, hey, uh, wanna? I need. Let's let's let me introduce this this thing that totally doesn't mean exactly what we think it is, but we we, we both know what this is about. Want to watch some Netflix? <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> Netflix and uh, chill out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
drink some wine. Yes. <laughs> Bravo. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. so, many, so many moments of growth, you know? So much growth I happening know. right before you arrive at Ravenloft. <clears throat> I think the campaign needed more of this. Like, not 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 sex, yeah. but like, I think the campaign needed well, more. Yeah, just but... um, more moments in between things, like where yeah. you, where you were going from one place to another and have these moments just to to cool down. It's one of the big notes yeah. that I give myself uh, with this. It's like this was so great, and it gives so much weight for it to everything that happens after it. That uh, my own. And this is a good this is a good regret and a good want to have, but my only regret and want is that I wish I had more of it. You know? I know more. <laughs> yeah, and and that actually it kinda makes um it kinda reminds me of uh you know, maybe like what, six or seven episodes ago? Back back when you know, pretty much from from the Ravenloft dinner. Uh, all the way through um, showing up to Kratzk and then going to the werewolf den and then running to the, the tower. Those five or six sessions felt like it was just running a marathon. Mm -hmm. And like that, oh man, that tower, like spending a week in the tower is so, is so needed to happen mm -hmm. because good Lord, those five or six sessions were like, <laughs> <laughs> you know, the entire time. Moments like these where you get things done, but you also have moments to breathe and, and you know, let the characters shine in other ways. It's it's so... So for me, when it comes to d and I don't remember combat that much. Unless something in particular happens in combat. Combat's not what I remember. I remember the things that the characters did in these little moments, you know? So. Everyone got a little something. Everyone got a little something. Yep, and now they're going to Ravenloft yeah. and campaign yeah. Serena And Serena and Ismark got a lot of something, but you yeah, know. Yeah, yeah, they got, they got a, they, <laughs> they, 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 they got a lot of something, something. They got a little so, so, something, something. Yep, yep, yep. <gasps> Use your imagination. <gasps> Do I have to... What? What? I have to like roll a die. <laughs> Do you want to roll a die, Nola? This is our fantasy world. If you want to roll a die, I will be fully on board with th with this. Do I roll a die? Do you want to roll a die? You know what I'm talking about. I know what you're talking about. <laughs> Do you want? Wait. <laughs> I think I think just for giggles, I kind of want to roll a die, but like okay, what what's see, the okay. what's what's the percent chance? What do we want to give it? Okay, well, 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 okay, here's the thing, here's the thing. So, uh, we're okay. So we record this in the kind of the time frame where um, Unearth Arcana came out with like some of the monstrous stuff, and like the uh, like the 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 whatever it is. Anyway, I'm talking about damp here, okay? And yep. of course. Ismark is thinking about becoming a vampire. Of course, we're surrounded by vampires, okay? What if Serena, like, has a baby? Yeah, I... I do you want to roll a die, Nola? And here's the thing. If we roll a die, I want to respect it. I'm scared. <laughs> what percentage... Because we don't need to if we don't... That's the thing about me being God. I can just say no. Uh, do you want to roll a die? And what is the percentage that you think makes sense? Okay. Well, it depends on our time of month. <laughs> it depends we on the time of month. We don't need to... What percent... Do you want to okay. roll a die? And what percentage okay, do you, know you want to give? I, I do kind of want to roll a die. Okay. Um, okay. I'm gonna, I, oh, man. I feel like I'm going to regret this once I roll the, the I roll the number I actually... Okay. Um, what's, what's, what's the percent chance? You know what? Let's do... Huh. Okay, how about out of 20? Well, it, it'd be a percentile do... die. So what 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 percent chance of uh, fertilization do you want to give Serena? <laughs> um Let's go, you know what? Let's say let's say uh 
Let's go on the lower side. Let's go. Let's go 15%. 15. That's the, that's 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 pretty high as, as as far as things go, but uh let's do it. 1 to 15. 1 to 15 are the magic yeah, numbers. Out of out of 100. Okay. Roll roll, roll those dice. I'm scared. I'm scared. <laughs> Serena, if you get yourself knocked up like this, I'm gonna cry. That is... 25! 25! She's good! <gasps> By the hair, your chinny chin chin, actually. Literally, yeah. a, one yeah. change of this die yeah. would... Oh my gosh. But Serena's this... fine. Okay. <sighs> okay. And this is why you watch the after show, because you get the deets. You get the inside of, of deets of what almost happens. Because <laughs> that would have been something that would have been really fun to explore. If, oh, if man. That, I, honestly, that would have been... I, and the thing is, I said 15. I originally was going to say 25. Oh. <laughs> and then I lowered it to 15. <laughs> because I was like, wait, 25 is actually kind of high. Yeah, no, 15 oh, is really high. God. Like, that's what I was saying. Like you, like, you were already going pretty high as far as things go. But... Yeah. Yeah. All right, there okay, we go. Well, uh, okay, well, good. Girls I just we wanna have, have fun. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, feel free to uh, to coax Ismark more if you want to roll those dice more. Yeah, I guess. right. <laughs> I don't think it's a good idea. Um. Maybe wait until after Strahd's death. You know what would be crazy? What? It would be the most petty thing in the world. I think, I th okay, I don't think Serena's the type of girl to do this, but I think if Claire had a man that she was sleeping with and she happened to be in Barovia in this situation, she would definitely be like, where is Strahd's bed? I'm going to have sex in his bed. <laughs> that is the pettiest thing ever. <laughs> Um, right. Strahd's Find bedroom it. exists in, in Ravenloft. If you I, want to make that a little side quest for Serena. I know, the side quest for Serena. It may make it my mission. <laughs> we got uh, two minutes. <laughs> I mean, two minutes. Dang, that's quick. Yep. Get the job done. Good yeah, work. Yeah, like, well, we're in a vampire castle. Uh... We could spare five minutes, you know. Yep. <laughs> we found Strahd's bed. Heck yeah. Well, I leave that to you. Uh, you've uh, <laughs> you've not. Be so freaking funny. <laughs> now that that threshold no. has then, been, yeah. Now that that threshold has been cracked, you can totally have Serena be like. Wow, I've actually discovered that this is, I kind of enjoy this. And that could totally be something that she discovers. <laughs> and it wouldn't be, it wouldn't be all that weird. Uh, and if you decide that that's where you want to take it, I will go with you on that, uh, on, on that wild, that ride. wild adventure. <laughs> and then when the final battle happens, we can taunt him with it. <laughs> Yeah, guess what? We're gonna make babies in your bed. <laughs> and when you're dead, you're not gonna be able to stop us. You wanna know why? Because we already <laughs> We already did it. <laughs> Given a whole new meaning to the hair flip. I know, right? All right. Well, I I don't, mean, I, I, that that seems like such a Claire thing to do, not a Serena thing to do. But the thought is still really funny. I I, le <laughs> I leave it to you, Nola. We'll, we'll I guess we'll cross that threshold when we come to it. But I think that's I think that's all the spice I can take on this after I show. I know my we've my had, cheeks are like. E yeah, we, we've we've had so. Where's my? I know. So, just uh, can't. I I can't. Can't deal with all the spice. I know. <laughs> My cheeks are actually like aching right now. <laughs> well, <I'm> really shy. <laughs> uh, well, thank you 
for being so comfortable exploring such mature themes on stream and with me, Nola. Really appreciate it. It was a ton of fun. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, is there anything else that you wanted to talk about or? Because I, I, I think that's enough spice to. For, for uh, a yeah, I don't think I, I. I think uh, <laughs> I. I mean, we could talk about it more, but I don't think we should. Okay, then thank you, everyone. Actually, not you. Do the sign off. Uh. Well. Okay. Fine. Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for watching our after show today. Uh, if you enjoyed this episode, uh, like, comment, subscribe. And of course, if you're uh, wanting to see our streams live on Twitch, um, go follow our Twitch link channel in the description below. Then you can watch a stream live. Magnificent. Yeah. Where? More spice may or may not ensue. Yeah, um, now that we've <laughs> crossed the threshold, <laughs> who knows what may happen next? Oh, oh, scandalous. Oh, 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 oh